the essence of the philosopher, I declare from here that everything I put into the ethers, the cost, the consciousness, into the cosmos, everything that I emit energetically connects to a new level of mentality, which I call telepathy, extraordinary perception, looking into the ethers to draw back downloads from a divine wisdom of interconnected knowingness. The knowingness, which I call wisdom and truth, exists as an entity beyond what I am, as an egoic individual, who I am as a collective species, as a unified field, independent only of my own perceptions. I dance with a consciousness intertangled, interconnected, and I focus on the will of the divine universe to speak through me, knowing that there's a divine message that needs to be imported through as many portals as possible. I open myself to be a portal of the transcendence, a portal of the new dimension that travels through earth as a spiritual ascension, an alien race of interconnected beings which we can only trace back to the origins of time, the invisible entities that speak through us, we call it heavenly, each time that we interact, people looking for ways to contact back into the ageless essence of the one presence, heaven on earth, and thus since my birth I've remembered and I carry within me the genetic memory of all our ancestors, of all that we hope we can become, the collective consciousness that is the ascendance of our being, recognizing ourself as an organism floating in space, interdependent of all other things for its own survival, my survival inherent within the Earth's biosphere. And thus I declare that the Earth needs healing, the Earth needs protections, regulations must exact a toll on corporate interests that would see us all to our demise. If we could take back anything, what would we do? If we could know the future, what choices would we make come true in the present moment? I ask and employ all heavenly soldiers to stand forth and inspire as many to take fire. We have a message to carry across sound waves. It varies what your talent is, but bring it because all forms of life are required for the balance. All of us are smarter than any of us. And so long as we know what vision to pursue, it'll come naturally through. Just as it comes naturally to children to walk, just as naturally as learning to talk. We've reached the pinnacle of this evolution and it's time to go the next step. It's time to open our hearts back to the connection to the earth perception and beyond to an intergalactic universe interconnected by an invisible energy that represents the field of our symmetry. Dark matter exists to counterbalance all that we see in form. It's an invisible emotion translates across all of space. It is the living, breathing spirit see in form. It's an invisible emotion that translates across all of space. It is the living, breathing spirit. And the spiritual way knows inside each of us it grows. Transpose earth comes naturally through us so long as we maintain a consciousness of intelligence over regret, making the choice to live to our fullest dimension, because in that decision is heaven, living in the now moment to its greatest capacity, connecting to as many cultural creatives that hear me now, let us all speak aloud the intention in a visionary ascension and we will find that there are patterns that exist in all of our vision those patterns are the ways the wisdom those patterns are contained in each of our soul artistically we gain hold, 
And what we know is what we declare And so I prepare the air The law of attraction Bleeds into this satisfaction Bleeds into my actions, it's bigger than me So I give it to we It is what we are It is what awaits us as a collection together a new layer of complexity this time and the earth ascends in her own mind and she lives on and it's been this way all along the cells uniting for their own very survival next step in their evolution, it goes bigger than us, in this we must trust, and in this we must live, for this is where passion exists, this is where true satisfaction exists, in the present moment, bringing into the world of form new consciousness, of collective unity, recognizing the truth of our reality. We are cultural creatives, creating each day with every opinion that sways, changing the world with every thought and activity. Knowing that I can create anything, why not create everything that I dream in my heart? I truly believe that drive, that inner passion is shared by all beings. And we connect into the one self, knowing that this is the moment that we've been waiting for. This is the memory of why life has always been and how it has. This is looking way back in time now moment, continually expanding, preparing beyond planning, this moment standing on my shoulders are angels, expressing through me all the world's tangled measures, they say it gets better, beyond this crucial phase, we must be brave, step into our light because it's our one chance to shine, and the more fire we can add to the flame, the higher we will ascend far that we will go into space and time to pull back a new layer of consciousness and leave behind the selfish views that determine and destruct, leave behind the world that we've known. We are not alone. There's an invisible soul group all around us, a collective consciousness of invisible angels that carry forth every intention and it knows no negation for every thought is an affirmation and the world the universe will provide each and every desire that we decide that we decide heal the scars of being a child when people told you to stop being wild remember that we are not tame we are an infectious flame of consciousness transmitting everything that we desire and so it's time to inspire a new desire Earth's sustainability because it is our responsibility and what an opportunity to create heaven on earth right here and now every artistic glimpse that we look into the world has a hint of truth in it and as we can combine as many glimpses in time as we can possibly obtain the world will change and the universal flame will flare up one more time flame will carry with it an impact farther into space than we can imagine, farther into the faith that we can make it happen. Something bigger than us exists. All we have to do is remember, and remember our role. The truth is written on our soul, and it asks 
us to be whole within and of ourselves, knowing that every other person is an aspect of who we are. And the only reason to hate someone is if we haven't solved something within. And so to take the opportunity to look within, take the opportunity to heal all the lies and make them real. Because what you feel is the key to unlocking it. Maintaining a connection to now. Embracing the opposite. For the opposite of what we think we are. It's the very essence of what we need to accept within ourselves to shine like a star, to shine afar. It exists beyond space and time. What I call is Sean Lally I am. It's bigger than me. It exists within the centuries. We all recognize it when we take time to observe. And so I'm asking you to observe God within, the spiritual essence that carries forth a dream. For that's where we will meet in agreement. That's where the world will unite. And opposites will always exist. For that's how the world evolves. To develop greater complexity requires adversity. It means letting go of the past because it self-consumes. In the now moment, we can recognize the opposite is exactly what it needs to be. Essential essence of me. And the we consciousness that translates beyond that recognition. That is where we find wisdom. Glimpse the world through a prism. Something greater than what we can see exists. But it's how we be that determines how we exist. And so if the shoe fits, wear it. Inside the universe prepares it. Each night in dreams we remember. That's why I pass it on to all of those inventors, the creative conscious and cultural creatives. Those that also speak with the natives. I know you can relate to this. So let's pray on this.